to the Fearless Knitter podcast. This is episode number 15. Today is February 17th, 2013. My name is Courtney and you can also find me as Stitches Please on Ravelry and Plurk. And if the lighting is a little bit off today, it's much later in the day than I usually record. Um, I just wasn't feeling it today. I'm having some technical difficulties. Um, as you can see, the title is I'm on iTunes, I think, because for Valentine's Day, I got a website domain, and I don't know anything about website development, and neither does my fiance. I've learned a lot since, but I'm having technical problems along the road and a lot of kinks to work out. Um, Right now, my podcast is showing twice. Both those RSS feeds don't even work anymore. I'm waiting for iTunes to delete both of them. I have a new RSS feed that I need to upload, and um, hopefully it will work. I hope. I cross my fingers. So hopefully this episode might be on iTunes next week. Um, just got to figure out all the kinks. Okay, week in review besides that. Monday I went to urgent care because of my ankle. My ankle didn't get any better or worse or it just, it was killing me. Day, I was there for three hours. It was a new urgent care center. I work for a medical billing company. I didn't want to go to the urgent care we bill for. And the other urgent care has mixed reviews and it's on the other side of town. And this one is right by my house. It's brand spanking new. I was like, okay, why not? I was there for three hours. When we walked in, there was one other person in there. Why was I there for three hours? I don't know. I was in the waiting room an hour. A guy came, a kid came in, not guy, but their gym is right across the street from the urgent care. And the whole family came in from the gym, you could tell by the, the clothing, and he broke his pinky. So then instead of telling him, hey, the hospital is right there, go over there. No, they had... They looked at him and were like, well, we can somehow fix it. They were deciding if they could fix it or not. Well, after an hour, they finally pulled me back, took my vitals, left, had me waiting for some 40-odd more minutes, uh, came back again, took my vitals again because she actually then accidentally deleted them and waited for another half an hour. PA came in, uh, the physician's assistant, Looked at my foot, touched it for five minutes, and then tried to... <laughs> and that's Boogie complaining. <laughs> um, what? You can't let everybody know you're here. Um, it took her forever to type everything up in the computer. And they wouldn't even tell me what was wrong with my foot. I had to ask. She was like, okay, you said, you all said. I was like, well, what's wrong with my foot? And she's like, oh, it's an inflammation of... A lot of muscles. Well, she gave me two types of medicine and they seem to work. My ankle doesn't hurt as much anymore. It hurts when it's really cold and damp outside, so then it, all my joints ache. So it's a little achy, but it's much better. Thursday, I went to midnight, and yesterday we celebrated our Valentine's Day, and um, I went to my knit the knitting store, hung out there for a little bit. They're all knitting my favors, so I kind of cheered them on while I was knitting flowers. And I'm sorry, let me move the lamp. It's like reflecting in my glasses. It's so annoying. It's still doing it. Um, I usually don't need the lamp, so I'm kind of like... I'm sorry, if the glare... It, I, yeah. And anyways, I went to the link store. After that, we were supposed to go to the travel agency here to see if we could get a good deal on a cruise for our honeymoon. We are still going with Carnival, even after what happened. I still drive a car, even though I've been in a car accident. I still fly, even though there's plane crashes. So that, yeah, I don't care. Um, but we were trying to see if we could get a discount because I heard booking online is the worst way to do it. They closed at 2, so we didn't get to do that. Instead, we went to Bed Bath & Beyond to add some stuff to the wedding registry. God, I have set up the registry online and have added everything online. Well, that was the first time I went to the store, and they were so pushy. They kept following us around. We were, 
it became like our goal to lose the people because they kept stalking us and telling us what to add and asking if everything was okay and just being really pushy. So we were like, our goal was to lose them. We never lost them. Um, and the creepy part was, it was the manager and it was the wedding registry person. And at one point the manager said something to my fiance that I didn't even see him telling him. I didn't hear it. And I was always around my fiance. She heard it. She knew, she was like, oh, and as I heard the manager tell you, and you're like, how in the world? It was very creepy and annoying and stalker type. Like we were gonna walk out with the scanner. I don't know why they did that, but it was really annoying. And one thing about customer service and being just too pushy. But after that, we went to Olive Garden and had an awesome dinner. It was so good. It was, it was really good. Um, if anybody has any tips on how to book a cruise and what's the best way to do it, let me know because I'm getting frustrated and I'm really close to just booking it through Carnival's website because all the cruise websites I've found is the same price and I hate talking to people on the phone. So I really don't want to talk, call a travel agency if I'm not sure they're giving me a really good discount. And as far as I've heard, they really don't. They might give me a credit on the boat, but it has to be worth my while for me to call anybody. And sorry, that's boogie. Being boogie. Um, okay, before I forget, I'm wearing my TGV. I forgot who it's by. Um, I did this as a knit along. It's the Knitables um, Franklin colorway from Gnome Acres. Uh, I'll link it in the show notes what it's the pattern. And shout outs. I had, um, I'm not going to get into this, but there was stuff going on with another podcaster. And um, we were all like sharing the love with her. And if you people were gifting patterns from her or one in particular and i happened to say hey i would like to knit this so adrian who's also known as whimsical rain gifted me the hoa loa by mel who's single-handed knits and um it's a mystery knit along and i want to knit the sweater that otherwise i wouldn't ask for the pattern i just don't have the time right now with um my knitting uh, for my wedding. My wedding knitting. Anyways, this is going to be like a really boring episode. I have the same exact stuff from last week. I pretty much just copied over my um, show notes because FOs, I have nothing. None. Whips, same old. I finished one more flower. I have one more flower to go and I finished my sister's bouquet. I just got to get the stamps and I looked at Michael's. couldn't find any stems. But I'm knitting the Attica by Stephen West out of Malabrigo Baby Silk Paca Lace in Pearl and Pearl 10 colorways on size 4, 3.5 millimeter needles. And I might have to pause for a moment because the cat's have perfect timing. I don't know what she's doing. Anyways, it's hanging out in my awesome bag from my friend Pam who now sells her bags at her local yarn store and here's the pearl colorway oh, there you go and here's the pearl tank colorway now I'm going to pause for a second All right. welcome back um, I've tried already three times to re-record from that little break but uh, apparently today I'm not meant to record <laughs> and I moved the lights so I don't have the light in my eyes so it's a little darker possibly but I went to re-record and then two minutes not re-record after the break re like restarted and uh, almost on my fiance's computer started talking out of nowhere and that freaked me out and then I tried doing it again, and so then I went into the litter box again. <laughs> so, hopefully, she's all emptied out now. And I can actually show you my whip, because I think that's where I stopped. Um, 
I think I stopped at showing you the colors and I already shoved it back in the bag. And just to make sure that I mentioned, it's the Attica by Stephen West out of Malabrigo Baby Silk Paco Lace, which I have. Malabrigo Baby Silk Paco Lace. And it's 420 yards of 70% baby alpaca and 30% silk. Love it. Pearl tin in the pearl color. And oh my goodness, it's all tangled up now. Where's this ball? All oh, right, this is the right side. Yep. I done. What? Why is there a string? All right, from the marker up. That's all I did. This week, um, last week was a much bigger progress, but that's because this week I didn't knit. Um, I have not knitted today, and it's 6 p.m. So, I don't know. Um, I know what happened. My days are too short. Anyway, uh, I finished the striping sequence, and now am decreasing right here, as you can see. I'm decreasing. So... Once I'm done decreasing, I do the border, and then I'm done. And as I had mentioned, I cut all the ends at first, like the pattern says. And I swear the camera turns on, and I have fiber in my nose. Um, but I decided that was annoying, so I carried the yarn. And once I do the border, you won't be able to tell a difference. But and then finish and wedding flower but like I said I'm not going to show you until I have some stems and have some fin like finished finished flowers to show you because as of now I guess they're finished but they're not finished you can't use them for anything they're not even like woven or anything all right let's smiley whip spinning none and there probably won't be any spinning until there won't be any other content until the shawl is done and wedding flowers. After the shawl is done, I'm going to whip out wedding flowers. That's all I'm going to do. Oh well, it's going to be boring. <laughs> Get them done. Enabling. Oh, that was interesting. I, my fiance ordered a Wool Farm, Wool Farms lotions for me for Valentine's Day. And I tracked them, and on Valentine's Day, they said they were going to be here, and I got really excited that I was going to have my lotions on Valentine's Day, and it said delivered. I checked my mailbox. We have a community mailbox in this townhouse community that I live in, and so it's a shared mailbox, and um, nothing there. I'm like, okay, that's really weird, because usually if it says delivered, it's del I never had that happen before. 15th, still nothing there freaking out at this point um, where the heck my package went Saturday when I came back from the knitting store to uh, pick up Ricky my neighbor came running out oh my god one of your packages was in my mailbox I put it on your step and Ricky already grabbed it so thank god it wasn't lost it was just I had my neighbor's mail in my mailbox before um, I just I don't know, they don't look. Uh, not too long ago, when Ricky had his iPhone, they put the mail in, okay, there's a back to the mailbox where all the little, I mean, our mailbox is like this big, and, you know, it's a bunch of them, and um, they put the mail in from behind. Well, that's a big freaking door that they just open and everything fits. But when I open it from the other side, it's smaller than the back. They put Ricky's iPhone box in. It was this... The box was this too much too big to get out because of the door that they didn't think of. I took a knife to it and destroyed the box and got the iPhone out. And I wanted to leave a post-it note saying, here, you discard of the box. But my fiancé crushed it and took it out. <laughs> anyway, kind of love sometimes our postal service. Do you want to see what I actually got from Wolf Farms? 
he ordered two things and I feel like I got a ton more because Dawn is so sweet. Alright, what did I show you first? The stuff I actually, or that my fiance ordered, or the stuff that she snuck in? Well, first, he got me chocolate covered cherries and it smells so good. I've been using this one um, since yesterday, yep, <laughs> since I got it. When you smell it out of the bottle, it smells just chocolate to me. Like, I have a little sweet hint, but it smells more like chocolate. And I love my lotion sweet. So at first I was like, oh, it's just chocolate. I can't taste. I was saying I can't taste the cherries. I don't eat the lotion. <laughs> I just smell it. But then, oh, that's not me. Uh, when you put it on your hand, you can smell the cherries. And it's so good. I kept going, like, the whole time. Oh, my hands smell like it now. I swear. And I was like, Ricky, I'm going to eat my hands. It smells so good. I love sweet smells, sweet taste, sweet everything. I have a big sweet tooth. And then he also got me, I didn't want to take this out of the package because it's so cute. I'm going to after I'm done recording, but I want to show you. But it's going to be crinkling. So cute. A little bag with, it looks like straw uh, bow. And he got me a sampler pack, which has pomegranate, cucumber melon, coconut, and apple crisp. I know how the apple crisp smells because I got that for my mom for Christmas. And it smells so good. And I can't wait to smell the other ones. And then the rest, she just snuck in there because she's adorable. She got me a thank you sample of Orange Delight with soap which smells amazing. And then I got chai spice black tea, which I can't wait. I'm probably going to drink this tomorrow at work. And a lollipop. And <laughs> she just had a lollipop thing while she was sick. <laughs> she mentioned on her podcast something about lollipops that had me busting out laughing, especially she never giggled about it. She was so like serious about it at first and um, he asked for a wolf farm video podcast button that's a big freaking button it's a big button um, it was funny I told him because he went to order he um, this one he's not getting I asked for a sample pack mm. I got this one too but I asked him like oh ask if you can get a button because they say on a podcast if you ask for a button you get a button and he and I was like oh I mentioned her podcast is awesome because they're awesome and he wrote can I please have a podcast button huzzah I was like well that's not what I asked you to write but I got the button and then I got a coupon too so I might order a bigger bottle of one of these with my coupon. Alright, and then also for Valentine's Day and that now we got that before Valentine's Day, but Michaels was having a sale and someone mentioned it on Plurk and it was too good. Like I have not bought any yarn. I've been trying to not look at any of my enabling plurks. I'm not looking, I'm not clicking on any links. My emails get straight up deleted, but I couldn't say no to this. I got, I'm one of the cool kids now. I got Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. I got three of these in the oatmeal colorway. I am copying like everybody. It's really soft. Um, I'm in specific copying Dawn from Wolf Farms podcast, uh, Wolf Farm Lotions, and uh, she's knitting wolf. Um, she has the same color and she knitted the Rocky Coast cardigan out of it, and I love it. And I love it in the colors and everything, so I might make that out of it. Um, sometimes I buy yarn specific for something and it changes, so don't count on that, that that's going to be a Rocky Coast, but maybe. And then Froggy Monkey from Amy from the Knitting in Circles podcast. She's knitting the Hoa Loa mystery sweater out of the same color, same yarn. But I got three. 
um, it was 50% off. How can you say no to that? I got a sweater for a sweater quantity of yarn for dirt cheap. I wanted to buy another color, but the budget. So one was enough. Next, fitness is obviously taken out as of now. Um, also, when I was at urgent care, they weighed me, and I weighed 10 pounds less than I originally thought I did. I can't lose any more weight. Um, I looked into Jillian Michaels' yoga because I want to tone my muscles. That's all I want to do. I don't want to lose weight. I want to tone muscles, especially in my belly area. Um, so I looked into the yoga. That is not yoga. Jillian Michaels is crazy. <laughs> that is like crazy hardcore yoga with cardio. And maximum weight loss. <laughs> so I need to Google and see if I can find something. But movies. We watched two Netflix movies this week. We watched, first we watched Hotel Transylvania, which is um, an animated movie and it's hilarious and I loved it and I recommend it if you have children or if you like animated movies. I, I don't have children, but I love animated movies. So it is really funny. And um, it's about, uh, I always am scared that I'm going to reveal stuff because I'm really bad with that. But it's about Dracula and he has a big house and everybody gets there, come, goes over to his house um, on his daughter's birthday to escape the humans. So you have all the monsters at his house, and it's kind of like a hotel, so Hotel Transylvania. Very cute. And um, a lot of famous people were narrators, like Kevin James, um, and Adam Sandler was uh, Dracula. Somebody else famous was in there, but I can't think of the names now. I just saw at the end when we saw the names. I knew Adam Sandler was Dracula. And I think Kevin James was uh, Frankenstein. The next movie I could have dealt without, but I did some knitting. It was The Watch with uh, Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn. And I don't like Vince Vaughn at all. The only movie I can tolerate him in is Fred Claus. But uh, who else was in it? Oh my god. Um, Jonah Hill. From Super Bad. I think his name is Jonah Hill. I hope his name is Jonah Hill. Um, it's horrible. <laughs> uh, it's a guy. I call them the guy movies, the guy humor movies. Um, my fiance was cracking up. Thought it was the funniest movie ever. Or not? Okay, over at Sat Training, he thought it was pretty good. He said it's a pretty good movie. It's very silly, and I'm. Analyzing the whole movie. <laughs> like, that can't happen. Um, what it's about about this Ben Stiller is this tied up uh, person that's all in his community, and uh, one of his employees gets killed, so he creates a neighborhood watch to find the killer, and then all of a sudden there's this weird up twist in it that has. I, I didn't realize what the movie was about. I thought it was about a couple guys creating a neighborhood watch, getting too caught up in it, and bad things happen. But then I read the DVD sleeve, so I'm pretty sure I can tell you this, because it said it right on the DVD sleeve, what happens in it. It has aliens in it. What? <laughs> yes. Um, so, when the movie got here and I read it, and, you know, I'm reading what I thought the movie was about, and then it's like, and then aliens, or something aliens, and I was like, oh god, so I did some knitting during that, but this is all I have this week, um, hopefully, I'm really hoping I can finish my shawl this week, but it might be next week, um, and I'm hoping to get this up on iTunes, there might be a chance that you're going to th see three, like, keep checking next week, um, I'm trying to keep Ravelry updated too and if you follow me on Plurk you definitely know because that's where all my complaining goes um, but there might be a possibility that you're going to see three Fearless Knitter podcasts, there's already one that's not mine, I don't know whose it is but then there's two right now that are mine and there might be a third one by tomorrow or by Tuesday um, 
you just have to go and look which one has episode 15 in it. Whichever has episode 15 in it, try subscribing to that one. The other two have bad feeds, and I'm going to try and get iTunes to delete them. I don't know how long it takes for them to delete it. So, sorry. But you want to be on iTunes? That's what i got to deal with. Um, Alright, I better get going. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye. Bye.